So in the next couple of podcasts, what I want to do is I want to throw a couple of questions at you. I'll throw a linear at you. I'll throw a quadratic at you. And we'll have to figure out a few things from there. So one of the things that you have to look at is what kind of graph are we dealing with? Remember, a linear graph is going to be just a line, which, of course, we've got a point here, which is a critical point, And we're going to end up having a V-shaped kind of graph here. On our quadratics, don't forget, that's that one that's going to give you a W-shaped graph so you got to know what kind of graph you're dealing with initially take a look at this for a second all right here we go look at this original question this is a minus 3x minus 6 notice that the power is to the 1 which means that this in fact is linear so if we're dealing with a linear graph you know and i know that this is going to be somehow v-shaped right right so Probably the easiest and most important thing to do here first off is figure out the intercepts. Okay, so here's the original graph, minus 3x minus 6. Let's figure out the y-intercept. Well, that's pretty easy to figure out. The y-intercept, of course, is always the b value. So the y-intercept is at minus 6. Now, let's figure out the x-intercept. X-intercept, which becomes our critical point, is at y equals to 0. So 0 equals to minus 3x minus 6. Bring the 6 over, you got that equals to minus 3x. Divide by minus 3, divide by minus 3. X, in fact, is minus 2. So there's your critical point. So we can start plotting some of these things on there. Okay, so let's do that first. Okay, so we have an x at minus 2. One, two, there's our critical point right there. We know that our graph, in fact, is got a y-intercept at minus six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our original graph. And we can actually draw our original graph. Our original graph is going to go up like this. Oops, I did a little bit off here. Okay, let's try that again. From minus six right here all the way up, kind of like that. There's our original line. And you know and I know since this is minus 6, we absolute value this and we find out that this bumps up to 6. So I'm going to have to move this graph up a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, a little bit higher. 6. There's our new intersect at positive 6. So our graph goes from here to here. Now ask yourself a question. What part what part of the graph got flipped? It was this part of the graph that got flipped. Now, check out how easy this is to put the piecewise function for. Watch this. Critical point we know is minus 2. Okay, so the original part of the graph was up here. That's the original. So you're looking at going that direction. So when x was less than or equal to minus 2, we had the original graph, which was right here. So there's our piecewise. y equals 2. Here we go. The original part of the graph, the original part of what was the original equation? Minus 3x minus 6. The original part of minus 3x minus 6 happened when x was less than or equal to minus 2. When was it flipped? It was flipped, right? 3x minus 6. That telling you that it's flipped is when x was here. This section bigger than the critical point, which was minus 2. Look at this. Look how easy this becomes. Now, clean this up a little bit. Distribute that negative in here. And when you distribute that negative in here, it turns this into, guess what? Right? Turns it into 3x plus 6. There's your piecewise function. There is your new graph right here. And if you want, that's why we do things in pencil an awful lot, is that you can erase this and say, that was our new graph, and that's how you do it.